appreciate it. Mark, would be great. Jennifer, thank you. Another is outrage over a guilty verdict in a very strange trial. This man was convicted after a SWAT team raided his house. What did they find? They found a shotgun shell and muzzle loader slugs. Just let him pop her, no gunpowder. Details on the judge's decision and why some gun and ammunition laws, some say, must be changed. This program is brought to you by e -trip. Okay, here's the way the system works. Let's say you pay your guy 2% to manage your own accounts. Watch it, except it's 2% every year. That's the difference. So it's cost of financial advisors. Ouch! Over time, it really adds up. And go to e trade to find out how much our advice costs. Spoiler alert, it's really, yes, really. e trade offers investment advice and guidance from dedicated professional financial consultants. It's guidance on your terms. is a leading cause of death and disability. Sadly, most people who suffer a stroke have no other warning signs. As you age, plaque can build up in your arteries. Even without symptoms, you may still be at risk. Fortunately, 80% of strokes can be prevented if the risk is protected early. A lifeline screening can help determine your risk. It's easy and painless. Call 888-819-LIFE to speak with a lifeline advisor. Our sophisticated ultrasound technology will soon sign your arteries for plan. And we'll give a detailed report to share with your doctor. And that's why many doctors recommend lifeline screening. Our screenings for stroke and other health issues will be tailored to your personal risk factors. They normally cost up to $70 each, but through this offer, you can save 50% of the five screenings for 149 dollars We're in your community now. Call 888. 2012 after a police raid, and what did they find? A single shotgun shell and muzzle loaded slugs in his home. But the judge sentencing him to time served in the $50 fine, plus now he has to register as a firearm offender. He told me a little bit about Joe Litichek's story uh, yesterday. Now, today, we have Emily Miller. She's the Washington Times senior opinion editor, author of Ellie Gets Her Gun. She has been following this story very closely. First of all,
they did. That was later pulled out. But they came back the second time with the law. They start shutting down. They can't stop Mr. Wojcik for them based on the floor. There's a SWAT team to take his child outside out in the shower. And in the end, they found one shotgun shell, one money here, and a box of mother little bullets, which this is a this is a bullet, this is a modern bullet, so it has gunpowder, but a muzzle little bullet would just be the top powder, which is made of popular lead and something you had to put in the muzzle of the gun at the gunpowder and the powder to make it go. And that's how it's charged. They didn't find any weapons. They didn't find any no. shotguns, any 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 no. um, AR-15s, assault rifles. No. He doesn't own he owns he is a gun holder, he's a hunter, he's been a hunter since he was a kid and a fisherman. Um, but he keeps his guns, his arms, and at his sister's house in Virginia. So his wife was obviously lied about possession of yeah. lying about that part. Um and that part was dismissed. So no, there's never charges against him. He's not a because DC has just rocketed it along that in order to have just ammunition, you have to have a registered firearm. That's the only reason that I can walk into Fox News in DC with these. Nobody else here could because I have a registered firearm. Mr. Wojciech did. So that's how he went to court, and that's why the judge found him guilty on Wednesday of this crime after a four month trial. And he was on Fox and Friends and told uh, the host what it was like. When the SWAT team raided his house, I just want to play this. Um, did they put you in handcuffs? Uh, yes, they did. They, uh, they put me and, uh, and my then girlfriend in handcuffs. They uh, herded all the children into a separate room, wouldn't uh, all, all five children into a separate room, wouldn't want to talk to them uh, while they proceeded to essentially ransack the house. No. Is he a bank robber? Is, is he, you know, a guy that the nation needs to be worried about? No, John, and I'll tell you, the most heartbreaking thing, and I don't know if not just this his case, he's helped him for you know, almost nine months now, was in court at the sentencing, and he had to plead for leniency. This is a man who's never had a criminal charge, and he says to the judge, Judge Warren, who's the one who convicted him, he says, oh, I'm not a criminal. I've never been arrested before this, and they can't go to jail for the night because of his ammunition. He said, you know, I've been a lot of person, I support my family and my children. You know, I've never done anything. I, I am a gun owner, but it's for recreation purposes, not for criminal purposes. So really, it was just shocking that a person like that had to ask for leniency. Well, he, he is a hunter. Yeah, he is a hunter. Um, and that's how he had to shop and shop to the memento. You know, and he explained to the judge that, he was a hunter at one time with a shotgun, the, sh the, the shotgun shell mixed fire, and, uh, and, and he kept it as a memento because the uh, deer then hit a tree and basically committed suicide at the same time, so he got a deer to shoot him, and he said that that's why he had a shotgun shell. In the end, the judge didn't go on the shotgun shell, but he really insisted that that's why he kept it in the open charge, because the, the, the judge wanted the court to open the shotgun shell and see if there was a gunpowder in it, and the government lawyer, the government lawyers, as well as the police lawyers, were the same way that could be done in the courtroom, and it needs to be done in the jury. It was, it was like, law and order couldn't make up the trial as ridiculous as this one. What, what is driving this? I mean, the Attorney General for the District of Columbia is, is a guy who does not have to face voters, right? Yeah, Urban Nate, that is the unelected the district attorney for D.C., and this is just his prosecutor in town because he makes guns, but it's all because of his friends with Urban Nathan, because Urban Nathan just one year ago decided that David Gregory, the NBC anchor in the press, who illegally brought a 30 round magazine onto his set at NBC, was not a public, was not a risk of public safety who decided not to prosecute him, but somehow this same district attorney had two attorneys on this case at all times, two prosecutors, prosecuting this man, and I sat in that courtroom every time, it's been on for months, and they treated Mark Wojciechowski like he was a murderer, and I mean, nothing he could have done could have hurt anyone, so, nothing. So David Gregory is a fine upstanding public citizen, but Mr. Wojciechowski is somehow a threat. Yes, that's exactly how the system of justice works in D.C. You can't elect the attorney general, and if you're a rich, liberal, powerful anchor, Thank you.
Today's doctor has an unbearable condition. Help reduce the risk of another. If you have heart attack, be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin that intervention. Your paycheck, your family depends on you. But if something happens to you, you need life insurance. And chances are, SelectQuote can get it for you for under a dollar a day. SelectQuote found now a thirty-eight, a five hundred thousand dollar policy for under nineteen dollars a month. Bill, 41, smokes an occasional cigar. Still, SelectQuote got him a $500,000 policy for under $23. SelectQuote found Kenesha, 39, a $350,000 policy for under $14 a month. SelectQuote's secret? They impartially shop a select group of highly rated companies like these for your best rates. Give your family the security it needs at a price you can afford. Call this number or go to selectquote.com. Select quote. We shop. You save. A Fox News Extreme Weather Alert point out devastation in parts of Missouri after a rash of tornadoes sweeps through the state. Several coasters touching down in DeKalb, Cass, and Grundy counties. One witness says the tornado that damaged his home hit so fast, he and his wife barely had time to run for cover. Well, we 
just grab you too. You're going to start looking around the screen. And I started crying. Oh God, oh God, please let this stop. Don't take us. I was standing the stairs and I started looking at that lake and the water was sucking clear out of that lake. <laughs> Thank you. 